Hey guys, welcome to another London video. Today, we're gonna have a video about, that's right, grasshoppers! So let me get the phone ready. When dealing with grasshoppers, you must always wear gloves, because you have no idea what they wear. And the reason that we're gonna be talking about grasshoppers today and I'm gonna be wearing gloves is because I happen to have a pet one. But you still need gloves. This was, this guy's name is Hopper, and I saved him from drowning in a pool, so I decided to keep him. So we're going to grab his container. He's been eating tons. He drank a whole bunch. So Hopper, he does hop around a lot because, I mean, he's a grasshopper. And he doesn't hop around that often, but he also does, so. Ugh. So, we'll go up at sunrise. Okay. Can't really wake up at all. Just that I happen to not go to sleep today. <laughs> but time to deal with the grasshopper. Okay, so first we have to find the zip. Why do I always put it under the strap? This, this annoys me, the strap. Okay. Oh, found him. He tends to go to the top of his container. He gets a little freaked in the morning. I, I get him, I get him. We might talk about beetles next time because I do happen to have a pet beetle. These are herbivores, so I don't worry about them being together. Ugh. But the thing is, now I can't just leave the enclosure open. So let's just put him put him close to the stream. So this is Hopper. He's about a good size for a grasshopper. He's been eating plenty. This is our first video with him. And I just like for you all to say to him, welcome to the family. And he hates being pet. I do anyway. Okay, thank you, Hopper, for going on my finger. Now I can finally zip your container. So... I'm basically trapped in my room because I do not want to disturb my family too much. <laughs> I'll still disturb them. So this is Hopper a little bit up close. Yes, you may be wondering, why would you have a pet grasshopper? You don't know where he's, he's been. Hey, I l rescued him. I'd recommend opening your sleeves because he did go in my sleep once. And he tickles your skin. Okay. Oh. You can see why I named him Hopper for that reason. He just hopped about a pretty fair length. I'm going to try to video him hopping. Hopefully he does not fly. Because did you know grasshoppers have the ability to fly? We're going to try to get him to jump. Oh, he can really hop. Okay. You can see him. Oh, there he is. Hopper the man, the man. I can't tell if this is a male or female. But if this is a female, it has a 50-50% chance of laying eggs. And you can have a chance of buying a grass per baby. And this is Hopper. Hopper keeps jumping. And I need to show you a trick. You should probably hold them like this if you don't want them to escape. I'm not actually crushing it. Did you know you drown, if you want to drown these guys, don't drown at the, 
Ugh, I'm talking about crickets. You don't drown the crickets by the mouth. You actually drown them by the butt. To beat out of their butt. And did you know crickets actually do eat completely raw meat and plants? There are omnivores, but grasshoppers are pure her herbivores. And there are many types of beetles, but some are carnivorous and some aren't. And some are... Oh. So this is little Hopper right here. He does indeed eat a lot. And guess what? Don't even try to do a live stream, beginners, because guess what? You need a million subscribers. Yeah, a million subscribers. And <laughs> you need your account to be perfect. But no, why do you need a perfect account? So please help me, please send me to tour, because I made another video at like 3 a.m. in the morning, basically night, so this is little Hopper, he's very active, he's, he's tickling me, or she. I cannot tell if this is a male or female. So if you see it going towards the light, it's because that grasshoppers, as we all know, bugs, not just grasshoppers, are attracted to light. I'm just scared he's gonna fly, but they only fly if they get like they're in a real threat. Oh my God. So if you did not know, Hopper's on the screen. That topper. <laughs> Hopper's doing some movement. Come on, Hopper, buddy. Okay, Hopper, get get on. Hopper slightly enjoys the best. Okay, um, so we're gonna try to get him off. You can see there's a bug on my camera. He just gets worse each way. Okay, so now he's back on my hand, and I think grasshoppers are a pretty cool creature. Um, they don't get a mosquito or anything, but the thing that bothers me is people mistaking them for crickets when they see them in the daylight. Crickets basically come out at night. They're nocturnal, hun, but fairly annoying. And... This little guy, he does not know how to deal with his life anymore. I can't tell if he ate the beetle and he turned carnivorous, or if he did not and the beetle side. This concerns me. That's why you all, but you also have to refresh in their cage. You can't just be like, okay, here's your cage, don't need a refresh in ever. No. It's the same way if you take care of a dog or a cat. I mean, their, their foods need to be refreshed. Not, not, not just no. Okay, so this is him. And he really enjoys... being in his cage. He he will go anywhere if it's a light. But I do recommend if you're gonna eat any bugs, recommend I recommend the ones from the stores because did you know some grasshoppers and crickets eat poisonous plants, so if a predator eats them or possibly us, we could die and be poisoned. So, just stick to the ones in the store, Kiki. So, let's watch a li little moment, okay?
So you see I'm slowly moving moving my thumb, which is making him active. So I will just be very thankful if all of you guys would leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. Okay, I'm going to try to end it.